welcome aboard the Sea Lion. Oh, are you sure this boat is seaworthy? Sure, I'm sure. Well, okay, Captain. Let's sail. Sailors on your mark. Get set. Go! Reader, try up the ropes. Which ones? The ones by the rudder. Uh, Sam, there's no rudder on this boat. Oh. How will we steer? Don't worry. I'll figure it out. Gee, Sam, those other boats are so far ahead that I can't even see them. Don't worry. I know a shortcut. This way. But that way's not even on the map. Hey, Sam! I thought this was supposed to be a shortcut! It is! As soon as we get through this storm, you'll see the finish line straight ahead! Crashed on an unknown island. Our boat's gone. What else could possibly go wrong? Oh, it's going to take a lot of work to fix this mess. Find your name on the list or type it in. Type a new name by using the keyboard or by clicking on the letters on the screen. L I N G Uh, pardon me, but did you lose something? Penelope, what are you doing here? Oh, it's so good to see a familiar face. Can you help us? Well, Unless you're really good swimmers, you need somebody to help you. And since I live on the island, I'm probably the best parrot for the job. Now, let me see. You need to build a boat. Lucky for you, there are boat pieces hidden all over this island. That's it. Come on, Sam. We just need to find enough pieces to put a boat together, and then we can go home. What a great idea. Let's go. I'll stay here and make camp. You bring me the pieces, and I'll build the boat. Penelope and I will go looking for the right boat parts. Okay, follow me. I know this island like the back of my, uh, wing. So, how do we get around this island anyway? I'll be with you almost everywhere. So if you need help figuring out how to do something, just click on me. To find out where boat parts are hidden, look at the map. To go to a spot, just click on it. And to change the levels of the game, or to see how you're doing, just click on the X. Great! Do you think the boat parts will be easy to find? Nah, shouldn't be any problem at all. As long as we stay away from the pirates. <gasps> <laughs> Boy, Penelope, this island is huge! Where should we go first? Try to find a boat piece, if you dare. <laughs> don't worry about him. I'll make sure you don't get into too much trouble. Now, just click on one of the places on the map when you're ready to start your adventure. Thanks, Penelope. Let's get started. You can change the levels of this game here. You know what, Penelope? No, what? That's what. <laughs> I love doing that. <laughs> How silly. Well, Penelope, I've been thinking about sailing home to Wordville, but there's a problem with the sea lion. No sails. Well, Sam, you're in luck. There are self-service sail makers all over the island. The self-service sail makers make the best sails you can find on the island. That's because they're the only sails you can find on the island. Wow! Where can I find one of those? Why, right there, silly! Sam 
drew one half of the sail he needs. He wants you to draw the other half. Click on one end of the line that Sam drew. Keep drawing the shape one line at a time. The half that you draw should look the same as the first half. Only split. I drew one half of the sail. Can you draw the other half for me? You need to start your drawing at one of the corners where Sam's line ends. You need to start... <laughs> what a fantastic sail! Let's just store that sail right here. There's a lot of wind out there on the ocean, and we need some more sails to catch it. I need your help. Draw the other half so that both sides look the same. <laughs> a boat with that sail would go really fast. I'll let the sail maker hold onto that sail until we need it. Let's make some more sails together. The sail needs to look the same on both sides. Can you draw the rest of it? <laughs> what a fantastic sail! I'll let the sail maker hold onto that sail until we need it. I could really use your help with making some more sails. Sam drew a shape, but it's the wrong size. Sam will tell you to draw a shape that is either larger or smaller than the shape he drew. I drew a sail, but I made it too small. Make a sail that is eight squares larger than the one I drew. You need to draw your shape on the part of the cloth where Sam didn't draw. With that sail would go really fast. We'll need that sail when the boat leaves. But for now, the sailmaker machine will keep it safe. Wow! A fresh sheet of sailcloth. Let's make another sail. This sail won't fit on our boat. Count the squares in my sail and draw a sail that is four squares smaller than mine. I need a sail that is exactly four squares smaller than the one I drew. Your sail doesn't have enough squares. Try drawing the shape again. I drew a sail. <laughs> I need a sail that is exactly four squares smaller than... <laughs> What a fantastic sail! Let's just store that sail right here. Hey, here's one of the things we need to rebuild our boat. Yep, you're a sea rabbit. Ready to sail two or three of the seven seas. You're a sea rabbit. And knowing how poorly rabbits swim, I'd keep working on the boat if I were you. What's that noise, Penelope? Oh, that? That's nah, just the local crocodile. There he is now. Hey, it looks like he has some parts that Reader could use on our boat. Looks like he's in a bad mood. He usually makes that noise when he's hungry. Hey, if you feed him, he might give you one of the boat parts we need. That's an idea. What does he eat? Some fruit? Or, or toss salad? No, Sam. You're gonna have to jump in the river and catch the kind of fish that he likes. Oh, joy. The crocodile's a very fussy eater. He will only eat groups of fish that equal a certain number. Look at the top of the screen to find that number. Use the arrow keys or the mouse to move Sam to the fish. 
press the space bar to make Sam dive underwater or come back to the surface. Twenty, four, twenty, four, divided by I'm tired of swimming around just to catch a bunch of fish for that crocodile. Couldn't we just give him some money or something? I don't think that would work, Sam. Why not? Did you see any pockets on that outfit? Oh, well, I suppose you're right. Eighteen. You need to fill this circle with a multiplication or division sign. Eighteen divided by... Keep going, Sam! Bumping into birds, hats, and life preservers gives you extra points. Eighteen divided by... Two to check your fish equation. Catch a fish with an equal sign on its back or press the enter key. Eighteen divided by... Two equals... Nine. That's just what the clock ordered! You need to fill this box with a number, Sam. Six. Twelve. Twelve divided by... Twelve divided by two. 12 divided by 2 equals 6. All right! 1. 20. 10. 10 times. Look out for snakes, Sam! They take away your point. Ten times two. Ten times two equals twenty. That's just what the clock ordered. Two, two times. Two times two, two times two times four, two times four equals eight. Good job! Looks like you made the catch of the day. Eight. Eight divided by. Two, eight divided by two equals four. That's it! Don't flounder! <laughs> Get it? Keep on cooking! 
What a wild order! For this pizza, we need one half slugs and one sixth beans. We need one half slugs and one sixth spiders. Swing anyway. <gasps> the pirates hideout. Doesn't look like anyone's here right now. Let's come back later. Hey, Penelope, look at this. There's a big ship sitting out there on the water. I wonder if the sailors would take us back to Wordville. So what is it, Sam? Pirates! Well, what are they doing? It, it, it looks like they're throwing barrels off the side of their ship. Those crafty sea salts. It's an old pirate trick. They're trying to reach the shore by hiding in the barrels. We'll have to stop them with... Water balloons! Yeah, right. No, really, they work! are hiding in barrels marked with numbers that match the math problem at the top of the screen. Throw water balloons at these barrels to make the pirates swim back to their ship. But be careful! 
any pirate who reaches the shore will take a water balloon away from you. If we hold the pirates off long enough, maybe they'll leave a boat part behind. Look out! Here they come! Nice job! Have some bonus points! My treat! Stopping those pirates! Those pirates are no match for us! Great job! It looks like you've given those pirates that sinking feeling. Here are some more water balloons. Go get them! To their ship. We stopped another pirate. Another chance. Let's see the pirates try to reach the shore now. We stopped another pirate. Hey Sam, the coast is clear. And look, there's something on the beach. Hey, it's a boat park. I'll go get it. Captain Ratbeard, sir. Two strange looking animals just came ashore. Did ye hide the pieces from their wrecked ship? <laughs> yes, sir. We put them with the pieces from all the other ships that have crashed on this island. Those critters will never be able to put their boat back together. And even if they could, their ship would never sail again. Arrgh, excellent. Just one question. Why are we doing this? Oh, isn't it obvious why they're here? Well, I... No. Every respectable pirate knows that rabbits and lions will do anything for a wedge of cheese. They will? Of course they will. And that's why they're here. They've come to steal our cheese. But they're not going to take it without a fight. We'll have to stop them, won't we? Pirate style. Har, har, har. Look at that! You've already found some parts for our new boat. Keep up the great work. Thanks, Reader. But I have a feeling there's still a lot of work ahead. It's great to have Reader here to work on the boat. Each time you find a boat part on the island, I'll add it to this clipboard. You can click on a boat part to hear more about it. The keel is the backbone of a boat. It helps keep the boat sailing in a straight line. The stem post attaches to the keel and forms the bow, or front, of the boat. We use heavy rope 
to tie the boat to the dock so that the water currents won't drag the boat away. The transom is the flat section that forms the stern, or rear of the hull. I wonder if we'll find anything interesting along this path, Penelope. Well, Sam, the paths around this island aren't usually very exciting. Most of the real action is in the clearings. Well, it makes for a nice stroll, anyhow. Whoa! Wow! What do you know about that? Hey! It looks like an old pirate diary! <gasps> it's going to lead us to buried treasure! This is great! So how do we find the treasure? Well, this book has a lot of numbers in it. What could they mean? Um, maybe it has something to do with that number line over there. Then let's start looking for pirate treasure. Look at the pirate diary to find where the treasure is hidden. To dig on the number line, click on a number. Or move Sam by pressing the left and right arrow keys. When you've moved Sam to the right number, click on him and he'll dig for the treasure. And if you need more help, just click on me. It says here, move to 26. Now, go backward 15. Next, go backward 0. Oh, there's no treasure in here. It's just a whoopee cushion. Whoopee! Wow, an antique pirate note. It says, see page 23. Ah, uh, throw that back in the hole. Let's get going. Hmm, let's see here. The diary says go to 13. Then, go forward 3. Next, go forward 2. Look at that! No treasure at all! It's just a milk bottle. Hey, look at that! There's a note! It says to flip the diary to page 133. Why don't you put that junk away, so we can get on with searching for the real treasure? The book says go to 11. Hmm, that's not the spot. We need to go back a few numbers. Wait, that's too far. We need to be on a lower number. Now, go backward 3. Hmm, that's not quite right. You need to be on a higher number. Hmm, I think we need to go forward a few numbers. Hmm, that's not... Then, go backward six. Hmm, that's not the spot. We need to go back a few numbers. So... Next, go forward zero. Treasure! Yes! This is great! That's just what Rita needs for the ship! Hey, look at this, Penelope! It looks like a group of pirates coming this way! Sounds like the boat park convoy! Boat park what? The pirates have lots of boat parts hidden all over the island! And to make sure no one finds the parts, the Pirates keep moving them from one hiding place to another. We need that part to rebuild the sea line. So, uh, how are we going to make them let go of that boat part? I think I have an idea. Hey, we could get some banana peels from those apes and make the pirates slip and slide. We need a total of 98 banana peels to stop those pirates. Right now, there are 87 on the path. We have to add more banana peels to the path to get the right amount. To get more banana peels, click on one of the apes. 
The bigger apes will give you more banana peels than the smaller apes. To take banana peels away, drag them to the compost heap. When you think you've put the right number of banana peels on the path, click on sand to check your answer. Nice try! But you need 10 piles of 10 banana peels before you can make a pile of 100 peels. You need 10 single banana peels before the spider can make a pile of 10. Splitting a single banana peel won't work. You can only use whole banana peels to stop the pirates. That's perfect! I couldn't have done it better myself! You know those things I thought were pirates? Turns out they were just ants. Here's the real number of pirates. We need a total of 256 banana peels to stop those pirates. Right now, there are 269 on the path. We have to take away some banana peels to get the right amount. area can't hold more than 19 banana peels. Ah, sorry. Ah, sorry. Ah, sorry. Ah. There's no way that ape can put more than 19 banana peels in that area. There can only be 19 single banana peels. Breaking up this pile of 10 would make too many single banana peels. There can only be 19 piles of 10 banana peels. Breaking up this pile of 100 banana peels would make too many piles of 10. That's perfect! I couldn't have done it better myself! Whoa, what was I thinking? Here's the real number of pirates. We need a total of 203 banana peels to stop those pirates. Right now, there are 215 on the path. We have to take away some banana peels to get the right amount. That's perfect! I couldn't have done it better myself! Whoa! I'd better clean my telescope lens. Here's the real number of pirates. We need a total of 301 banana peels to stop those pirates. Right now, there are 70 on the path. We have to add more banana peels to the path to get the right amount. piles of 10 banana peels on the path. You just can't. You can't. You can't. Slow down there. 19 piles of 10 banana peels is the legal limit. No more than that, period. of 100 banana peels make a pretty good mess. Let's not put any more piles of 100 banana peels on the path. <sighs> that ape would have to be pretty hungry to eat more than three groups of 100 bananas. If the spider joined those banana peels together, there would be too many piles of 100 banana peels. Just thinking about it hurts my brain. Joining together piles of 100 banana peels would make a pile way too big for this path. Joining together piles of 100 banana peels would make a pile way too big for this path. Try something else. You got it! Nice work! You know those things I thought were pirates? 
turns out they were just ants. Here's the real number of Pyrax. We need a total of 283 banana peels to stop those Pyrax. Right now, there are 86 on the path. We have to add more banana peels to the path to get the right amount. You got it! Nice work! Look out! The Pyrats are coming! That was great! And now we have a part for the boat! What's that sound, Penelope? Oh, that? That's the Pyrats! Pyrats? Here? Don't worry, Sam. They're very sound sleepers. Whew. Thank goodness for that. Yep. Once pirates are asleep, nothing can wake them up. Except, of course, for noisy coconuts. You see, the monkeys on this island put noisemakers in some of the coconuts. But I think we're safe. I haven't seen any monkeys around here. Oops. Looks like I spoke a little too soon. Noisy coconuts are marked with numbers that follow this pattern. Catch the coconuts that have numbers that follow the pattern. Let the other coconuts fall. To move Sam back and forth, press the left and right arrow keys. Or use the mouse. If you catch anything that isn't a coconut, you'll earn more points. Good luck! Noisy coconuts. Coconuts with numbers that follow the pattern have noisemakers inside them. <sighs> that was close. Tell me about it. We better wait until the pirates go back to sleep before we try again. <laughs> well, that was quick. Okay, here we go.
Look at all this great stuff! And they just left it out here! Look out, Sam! Sometimes things on this island aren't as simple as they look. Aw, oh, come on! It's just a big old open pit with a bunch of great stuff in it. Can't you read the... Sorry? What did I tell you? Why me? To get Sam out of this mess, we need to pay the trap some money. Look at the price tag on top of the collection box to find out how much money the trap wants. Click on the money on my wing and drag it to the collection box. Then, drag the money you selected to the collection box and click again. When you've put the right amount of money in the trap, click on the deposit button. If you put too much money in the trap, click on the return button to start over. I can't believe I fell for this tourist trap! Uh-oh! What happened? Looks like you're still trapped! Now we have to put in... Three dollars and... Eighty-one cents! Oh, please! Someone help me get out of here, please! It sure is dark in here. In here. Now the trap is asking for another eight dollars and thirty three cents plus one dollar and seventeen cents. Hey, anybody help! <laughs> Aw, there's no treasure in here. Just this. Look at that! Reader can use that on our boat. Let's see what else we can find around the island. Hmm, I wonder if you'll make it through this adventure. What? The last critters that landed here were captured tickled with pillow feathers until they laughed themselves loony. They were never heard from again. That's terrible. What kind of pirates are they? The worst kind. Cheese-eating, whiskered, rat-eyed rodents. That's what kind. And they wear silly hats, too. I'm not afraid of little rats dressed like pirates. You would be if you'd ever met Rat Beard the Pirate. Ooh, red beard? I me hearty red beard. <laughs> hey, look! The pirates have raised their flag. That means they've thought up one of their zany pirate songs. <laughs> 